And what an exciting moment this is for Kasper Johansson in his previous Junior Grand Prix experiences over the past three seasons. He's been 14th, he's been 12th, 14th again in Gdansk two years ago back in 2022, but finds himself coming into the free skate here within touching distance of a medal. Mark, he looked really good in practice this morning. Hopefully he can transfer that onto the ice right now. Well, Mark, that was, you know, I saw him skate this morning and he was skating really wonderfully. And this is another experience, unpleasant one, distasteful, of course, that doesn't hurt you long term because you feel that you can do it. And he looked like he really wanted those first triple flips and triple lutzes and pounded that pick and popped it open. And that became problematic throughout the whole program. And you had mentioned there had been some injuries coming into this event or, or over in the last little while. Yeah, Victoria Helgeson, his coach and choreographer, had explained that he'd been injured, hence the late participation in the Junior Grand Prix. He, he did, he had actually planned a quad toe. I know that he's done quad south but I don't think I'd seen him have quad toe in the plan. So 
that an indication if, if the jump is in the plan program content, it's going to yeah. be happening in practice. So, yeah. And look at how nice and easy that triple loop was. Triple Saka as well. He's rotating things very quickly, and I saw that in the flipping Lutz earlier today, but not in the program. So perhaps not enough. Maybe it's too early in the season. He hasn't run enough programs. I don't know. Uh, and Casper will be competing in Ljubljana and Slovenia oh, good. next week. So, you know, great short program. Finding himself in the top group. How can, over the next week, there can be so much positive visualization, loads of mental rehearsal to make sure that he can consider, no matter the fatigue, the energy to fight for a triple flip landing late in the program, even if the injury has prevented him from running through lots and lots in preparation for the event. And I mentioned, I mentioned to you off air, of course, how much he had approved in his program uh, choreography and his commitment to that. And that also is that taking more energy from him. He used to be a sort of a back and forth type of skater, now he's more all-rounded, which is requiring more uh, physical endurance, and that's something new as well. He's a really good skater. This was not a good day. Yeah, that, as you say, the transition into and out of the triple loop, the third element in that program, was just, just reminding what Kieran Osmond said about keeping a jump as part of choreography, and that's where he's at with the loop. It, it would be ideally now if he can, he's obviously keen to make quads, a part of the program without and it's good the program. It, it's a good point you wonder if the setup is so long that separates from performance and choreography into a technical element maybe you need a little bit more choreography going into the element to make it part of the choreography okay we're just hypothesizing here but we're ruminating it was 92.30 for Casper Johansson from Sweden that's 15th in the free program with a 155.69 seventh overall at this stage of the competition, with four more skaters to come.